I'm talking about country, back roads, long ways before you see anybody. <laughs> hey, my delightful darlings, it's your eyes delight on site back with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are already a darling baby. I got to talk to y'all and yes, y'all see the title. It is correct. And if you're impatient and you want to get down to the nitty gritty because you're trying to be nosy and you want to see the empty apartment tour, go ahead and fast forward to four minutes. Okay. And for those that want to actually help a girl out and, you know, support your girl in real life, because mama going to get these babies up out the projects. Okay. Don't get it messed up. We in the backwoods, but did y'all know rural areas had projects? I'm still in the projects. Wait a minute now. Does that make me a project chick? Hey, so now I'm a hood rat chick. I'm one that don't give a wood. Hey, and that's gonna upload my vids. So feel free to watch my video all the way through. Appreciate it. Help me, please. As in all, because your girl's channel is what? Monetized? And I ain't surprised. And like this video if you always root for the underdog. Because baby, with me, with me, I'm going to come out on top. Talk to y'all. Because baby, when I tell you this was a long drive, this is a two-hour drive. And I got to let y'all see the scenery, okay? Because it is more animals than people out here. Like when I tell you... Ladies and gentlemen, we have left Georgia and we have entered Georgia. It is a difference because, baby, we are in the country, the deep south. It's giving Bubba Sparks ugly. You know, ugly, ugly. But, honey, I ain't want to complain because my rent is what? Zero dollars. How far y'all going to drive to pay some zero dollar rent? All right. So I shut up. And as soon as the housing authority worker called me and said that we needed to have an interview, I was so bummed out because I was like, dang, we can't have the interview over the phone. Like two hours is a long time to be driving and I ain't got no gas money. and You just want to interview me? Like, what is this? But I really should have known better because it's an old town and they not up to speed with things like you can't even apply online. You got to apply in person. So I don't know why my expectations were so high, honestly. But seriously, guys, I don't know if this is luck. I don't know if this is perfect timing, divine intervention. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but I am so happy and I am so blessed that I was able to I'm get so this opportunity. I'm so happy that I don't be wearing fake hair no more and I just wear my locks because what the fuck? I actually want to go in there and see what type of selection they got in case I want to switch it up one day. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like the only beauty supply store in the town. And I'm happy and lucky that they even have that. Okay, theater. Okay. You know, in the country, the town got a bell going off. You hear the and bell I would ring. love to clear up the confusion for anybody that doesn't know. Public housing is an apartment building or a complex where you rent an apartment from the government and you pay based on your income. Section 8 is a voucher program that where you get a landlord that accepts the voucher and you pay a portion of the rent by the government and you pay the balance based on your income. In public housing, everyone in the neighborhood is low Rain income. With the there. Section 8 voucher, you can move around and it's a diverse income base so when it comes to me honey i got approved for public housing i am in the trenches all right let's go the unit say stay strong i'm trying to damn it I've heard of people being on housing lists for years and never having an outcome. And for them to contact me and of a few months, like, is just, I am at a loss for words. I had a point where I was embarrassed and the thought of sharing this with the world made me cringe. But on a second thought, this could be considered a mansion to somebody. This is definitely not my proudest moment. But I'm grateful none the least. I see parents out on the streets with signs up all the time. 
And I'm happy to say that that's not going to be me, my, me and my children at the moment. Because it could easily be me. And it could easily be you. I'm not even going to lie and act like I don't have a sense of shame because I'm fully aware of the stigma that comes with low income housing and washer and dryer, stove and microwave. If swallowing my pride will allow my children to have a safe space to lay their head at night, I will gladly take a shot every morning. Very grateful. We got a roof over our head. And a home is what you make it. And maybe I'm put in this position so I can shatter those stereotypes. You know what they say when you assume. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if this is the biggest one. I think it is because that's a pretty big window. Closet space. Thank God for all of my blessings, the big and the small. I've been very transparent and nothing but an open book with you guys about my situation and about how my fiance passed away. I was a stay at home mom. We, me and my children were facing homelessness and it was a snowball effect, you know, eviction, everything. And I just want to be a source of inspiration to whoever is watching this video that things get better and situations are not permanent. Things could have took a turn for the worse. We have a roof over our head. I'm grateful about that. This is room one. Now I just got to get it. I'm going to use this opportunity for me to dive even deeper in my entrepreneurship. Bathroom. All right, that's a closet. I'm gonna open it in a minute. This is room two. I love how it's bright in here. It's not gloomy like the last house. And yes, I'm still living in the area, in the house that my fiance passed away in, laying out on the floor. Cause I was not in the financial situation in order to move. Hell, I could barely take, this is room three. I could barely take care of the bills now. I've been doing it for the past eight, nine months, but I've been hanging by a thread. This happened just in time because I was behind this month. Dang, you already getting the dirty in here, PJ? Dropping crackers and stuff? Yeah. OMG, what a beautiful sight. It's you, it's me, your eyes the light. Baby, don't be scared, cause I don't bite, but miss that like button, and bitch, I might. IJK, IJK, we gonna be okay, stick around. I'm posting content on her every day. Boom!